Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel. If today is your first time visiting with us, we want to extend you a very warm welcome and invite you to view any of our over 440 videos that we've arranged for your convenience in playlists, as we are confident you're going to find something both enjoyable and entertaining. If you've been here before but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. Today we're going to have a very special episode. It is a Wednesday quickie and we're going to talk about a free way to improve your entertainment value and maybe create a new hobby if you're not familiar with shortwave radio. Shortwave radio is a way to listen to radio stations all around the world using a, a, a device, a radio device that can really decode uh, short waves. Its ability to reach throughout the world is, is a great thing because you can actually get to listen to stations that they're far away from where you're located. And also it allows you to listen to very interesting phenomena, sometimes even uh, atmospheric phenomena and the infamous number stations that they're attributed to, to spy organizations sending coded messages through the use of uh, numbers that then the, the agents on the field can decode using a, a specific key. So there is a lot of fun to be had in short wave and you can reach virtually every country in the world using a short wave radio, but a barrier in the entry to the hobby is of course cost. Uh, sometimes the cost can be very significant. The radios can be found for, for cheap, but those radios do not perform very well. And that introduces a very significant barrier to the hobby as most people, especially if they're starting in the hobby, they don't want to invest a few hundred dollars to buy a radio. And if you buy a cheap radio, you're not going to be satisfied and you're not going to continue in the hobby because you're going to get very few, if any, radio stations. So today I'm going to introduce you a very inexpensive, in fact, a free way to start in the radio, in the, in the hobby without a radio, without the need for an antenna outside your house uh, and without having to make any alterations to your living space. And something that actually you can even take mobile if you have a, a, a nice uh, iPad style device or you want to use your phone, assuming that you have internet access wherever you're going. So stick around and we're going to show you how this is going to work. You simply start in any computer, Windows, Mac or even a Chromebook by going to your internet browser, in this case for us is a Chrome, and entering the URL that I'm going to put below in the comments for your use. And then you're greeted with this interface that allows you now to listen in very good quality and with great precision to any shortwave radio station. Here you see a cascade that's called a waterfall and the change in coloration, whatever it is not really blue, indicates an active frequency. Now, an active frequency does not necessarily mean that there is a radio station there, there can be other things like uh, Morse code. By radio station, I mean voice transmission. But they can be things like Morse code, Morse code there, or they can be number stations, the very infamous way that spies used to communicate. They are still active, actually, even today. And a, a lot of interesting things. You can adjust many of the functions there. There you can adjust filters. You can put swells. You can do a, a myriad of interesting things and as you can see, this costs you absolutely nothing. You don't have to provide your name. You don't have to do anything. There you can change the size. There you can change the speed. You have a lot of control overall. Even the brightness of your screen is, is controlled by this interface that is run on any browser, on any system, and costs you nothing. Here we change to a spectrum, which is a more common way for people to view it. But a lot of people prefer the waterfall, which I change here to see the difference. You can identify, as you can see, active frequencies in either, but especially if you're starting, the waterfall, I think, is better. Here again, you, you, you see... 
but you can hear a station here. And, and this is just an example. And as you can see, all we did is uh, take our uh, tuner and put it directly under that line. And every line here depicts an active signal. Not every signal means you're going to hear a voice. Sometimes what you're going to hear uh, might be a Morse code. You might hear a number station. There's really a variety of things that you can hear on short wave and can be a really fun hobby. This is by far the most interesting interface that I have used in Shortwave and the easiest interface I've used in Shortwave and it is one of my favorite. Even though I do possess Shortwave radios, I often utilize this because it is the easiest, the quickest and the least uh, disruptive way for me to enjoy my hobby without having to stop and uh, get uh, equipment out or worry about conditions, for example, if it's raining outside, if there is a thunderstorm. This is a safe way to do it. And again, I use my computer here, but I've also used my telephone, I've used my tablet. It is a very versatile way to enjoy a hobby or find out if this hobby is actually for you. If you enjoy it without having to invest any amount of money to see if that's something you'd like. I can tell you that if you like it, you're more than likely going to invest money to buy other gear because there is something really amazing in tuning your own radio. But other than that, it is totally up to you how much money you want to spend or if you're going to spend any money at all in order to, to get into this hobby. And some of you might stay on this web-based uh, inter interface because again, it costs you nothing and it gives you a lot of the satisfaction of being in, in short way. This interface is great. It is very stable. It does not contain any mal malware. It is extremely safe. I've never had any problems. I've used it for years. So I very, very strongly recommend it. Here what you see me do is actually adding this station that I found while I was looking for you to my memory channels. And that's another fun thing. If you find a station, something you can do with only very expensive radios, you can add it in memory. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Urban Home Static channel. And I know that this was a little different than our normal episodes, but if you do, a thumbs up. Want, if you didn't, the other button works as well. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what you would like to see in a future episodes of, the, of this channel. And we appreciate your support so far. From the Garage Wizard and the Urban Homesteading channel, I want to wish you a great week, and we're going to see you soon. Farewell, friends.